Okay, so um, we're ready. So, Zilf, okay. whenever you're ready, just give us a countdown, and Yashi will start the timer. Alrighty, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Uh, personally, I like to thank the people commentating. Hey man, it's always a pleasure. Yeah. Uh, I have had the uh, opportunity to commentate your runs before, and it's, it's always a beautiful thing to watch you play. <laughs> yeah, most of them are uh, Super Metroid players, good good players in their own right, so check them all out. So why doesn't everyone introduce themselves really quickly again, maybe? That would be nice, because we, ha we have a new commentator here. All well, right, quote, well, quote, I'm, new. I'm, I'm, I am the newcomer. Uh, my name's Sinister1. It is one of my all-time favorite games, and uh, love to watch, love to play. Um, I'm not quite as accomplished as some of these other fellows here, but, uh, but I can still hold my own a little bit. Or, uh, I guess, yeah, sure, I'm Test Runner. This is Stravarius, also do Super Metroid. I'm Curry Master, and I've been organizing a marathon. And I'm two months rusty on this game. <laughs> <laughs> the rust is always strong in this game. That's one thing. You get, you get, you get, time. You get rusty I, in this game. A long time, dude. Unless you're Zeus, because he was supposedly rusty the other day and got like a sub 45. <laughs> rust does not apply. Yeah, it does, it does, I promise. Man, if we all had a trim of rust, then we'd get world records every time. For some people, man, I'm telling you, they just stop playing something for a little bit and they come back and they're, like, improved upon what they were before. It's crazy. Yeah, I think sometimes if you're burnt out, then it's nice to step away. And I actually had that happen recently with a run where I just, like, didn't play for two months and then... I specifically remember one of our Friday night races, I think it was QWERTY, he, like, took a break from the game for a month, came back, played for the first time in PB by a whole minute. <laughs> yeah, that metal block, break. man. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes you just get in really bad habits, and until you step away, you know, you don't get to put them into, into the light. That's true. Well, I guess uh, the, the beginning of this run is very, very similar to low percent. I'm not going to see a whole lot of variation for a little while. But still, still fun to watch uh, the early stages of the run. I always like some of the early stuff. That pissed room, man. <laughs> it Destroy our bonds. Hit, hitless percent is alive. Let's see. So far. I, see, I didn't catch the whole uh, low percent run, so I don't, I don't know how the early game went in that one. I think it may have been pitless. I think it was. It's not a run until it's up in two, though. <laughs> that's, that's true. That's what he said if it's, uh, there's no up in two. Pretty sure that's what my any percent PB is, and I have not gone back to beat it yet. <laughs> what? Is this an up and two? Uh, up and two for sure. It's, it's, it shouldn't be beat then. That's what somebody said. Just let it be. Those I can now wondering... retire from Super Metroid forever. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Those of you wondering what we're talking about, up and two is the name for a trick. When you leave charge. If you jump at the very last frame, you can only you can get up back to the top level and two wall jumps instead of three. Yeah, basically you just don't bonk your head on the ceiling. Yep. Yeah. Really nice. Hey guys, when you get it's, it. It's just like Zelda, bonks are bad. <laughs> it was dead. Nice damage boost. Thanks. That's nice. I'm banged up strip for the uh, set first jump now. Nice. Pretty clean climb. Not too bad. I think content for Super Metroid, we need to make sure we know all of the different names. This should be like an exam, I guess. 
names. I can't remember all of them myself. Well, not all of them have names. Yeah. And That's there's true. certain rooms that I, I, they, depending who I ask, you get a different answer. Like the kitchen, I'm not exactly sure which room the kitchen <laughs> I is. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> no, 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 somebody no. just made that one up. No, that, I don't know. I, I remember that one being a name that people think didn't agree on. I think, right. like, the closest thing is the pantry. Yeah. Which room is the pantry? I think the pantry is the room bef before the uh, grapple. Yeah. Is it? Okay. I, you know, I looked at that room and I always thought this is more like an amphitheater, which the amphitheater is one of the rooms in Lord Warfare. Yeah, right. that's the, the rising lava room. Yeah. I think it's pantry because it has that little section tucked away at the top where there's an item. Yeah, because it looks like a kind of like some sort of, I don't know, pot or something. That too, I guess. You just have to remember the most important room name, which is the warehouse. I don't know that it's so. Why would that be? <laughs> Need an explanation. That's a bold statement. <laughs> that is a bold statement. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen uh, um, uh, Desi's uh, old 100% tutorial? It's been a long uh, time. Yeah, it's probably yeah. been a while. Yeah, that's just one thing that comes up in it. Okay. It might be on the wiki. In case, good reference, man. I trust Desi's judgment. Yeah. Well, I think it was actually Leno's judgment in that one, but... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Leno. That was a nice little clue, sir. Off the way that new? Uh, no. I I've knew known about it, but I just haven't... I haven't found it consistent until recently. I just worked on it enough to where it became ah. consistent. Like, Behemoth started doing it. I knew about it already, but Behemoth started doing it. So, dang. It yeah, I think he's doing it. You gotta do it. Yeah. Can't be showing up. <laughs> no. I, I think with that part, at least in my experience, if you go too fast, as if such a thing were possible, if you go too fast at that part, you're go going to hit a waiver whether you like it or not. Yeah. If you try not to take any damage at all, you mean. I mean, if you, you jump up. walk ball as quickly as you can, and jump up as quick as you can after shooting the, the ceiling. Yeah. And wall jump as quick as you can. I, right. I can never seem to do it without getting hit. There I know we go. Like intentionally slow. Oh. Aww. <laughs> so, I tried too hard and uh, it was late. So this is really pretty much where any percent will deviate from the low percent run that you just saw. Because if you remember with the low percent run, he actually went up in red tower, but that's not going to be the case this time. Going down. Visit our old buddy Creed. He's just sitting there waiting for us. Waiting for his cake. What's, what does he do underground anyway? I mean, what's, what's there to do down there? This is a good question. I really don't want to know, man. Very <laughs> <laughs> good point. I was just about to say, this answers questions we demand answers to. It's like, well, maybe not. There was like a, a comic where it told the story of how that soldier died. It was actually. Crate's cake deliver, <laughs> and he brought it on cake. <laughs> oh man, that's a mistake you don't want to make. Dang, kill the messenger. He brought the wrong cake, dude. Like, what do you want him to do? Wow, Zeus has a, a good amount of missiles there, and I don't believe he'd normally opt to missile that flow. But uh, yeah. if I've got more than drops five, have been nice. Yeah, yeah, drops. Yeah. drops Drops have been good so far. Let's hope that trend continues. Yes, especially in terrain. Great time to shine. Yeah, I need to see this coming. All, all five seconds of it. Good 
give up some trades. Delivered. Mr. Deville, he was not ready for his close up. <laughs> <laughs> Some drops there. Yeah, I can't complain. A whole lot more. He's a little camera shy. Didn't want to show off his body. Yeah, mini crate will always uh, get drop four supers uh, if he just runs past them. So if he uses one super and gets four back. He has four supers. So as long as he has two here, it's all good. Yeah, I'll be back to full if I have two after crate. Yeah, yeah was. He jumps high at that door right now, uh, coming into the Kai Hunter room there. The reason he does that is because the Kai Hunters do a slightly different pattern when he gets up. So that's great if he didn't jump through it, so he can get up without getting hit by the Kai Hunters. Yeah, if you don't jump through the door with the space power it's a mini crate in it, um, and you go as fast as possible basically and try to shoot out the floor there, like one, one Kai Hunter will drop straight on you. It's very annoying. I know, there, when I first started running, every time I would do that, I'd shoot the opening and the Kai Hunter just falls right through the opening. <laughs> yeah. So, always the rudest surprise. I think what we can take from this is Kai Hunters are just like the biggest jerks everywhere in this game. Jerks. Well, luckily, there is a way to, to get out of that trap. You get more fawn than discussed in the last run, but you can, you're, uh, your upward trajectory, even if you're getting hit, more fall form, so... I almost with the yeah. low route there. Good backup strap. I think usually you see that the most in any percent uh, right after power bombs. Past the, the cac attacks, a lot of time you'll have to get more fall so you don't get knocked down. Just cac attacks. Jerks, man. Hardest boss in game, Bubble Mountain Cag Attack. Do not forget. <laughs> yep. Those ceilings in this room. Is this, do you want to know what your power bomb's time is when you get there? Nah. Yeah, I got the QT boost. Nice. Thanks. It is. Oh, a little trouble moving though. Alright, this is what we were missing out in the last run. Oh, um, good old speed booster. Some genuine speed. Speed booster is the best item in the game. I just I the yeah, there we go. I was positive. I'm gonna ream you for that one. <laughs> Best thing Metro 2 ever did, spring ball. <laughs> what? Spring ball okay. is dearly missed out on this in this game in pretty much every category except for 100%. God, it's so cool. Let's go. Like, it's you can do so much like, cool stuff. There's all so many cool stuff. It's a shame it's like so hard and out of the way to get to. Need to make more 100% map strats than involve spring ball. <laughs> Drop luck continues. Only uh, only one round of farming there. Yeah. You know what this means though. Later on, the drops are, are going to be bad. They're gonna they're gonna dry up. It means Fantoon's gonna give me slow person, man. Well, see, we just want him to dry up before Turian. As long as as yeah. long as it happens before Turian, That's true. and, and like then we're mix. okay in Turian, then it's fine. So, v were you here for the end of the the Lovers and Ice? I caught some of the ending, yeah. Okay, because like I called exactly what she was gonna do, and so it's just like, why'd you do that? <laughs> Tater tots, French fry, ketchup. Combo. Need some some meat in that meal, man. Can't have nothing but <laughs> carbs. <laughs> Ketchup is not a vegetable. I'm sorry. That, even a, even a lucky super drop there. Yeah, it's always nice. I was in need of one. If I didn't get a super drop from any of the enemies, I'd need to do missile, ocean fly. Oh, I speed this it. time around. 
skip that, save it for later. I used to pick up ice beam early in older routes, but not anymore. Yeah, when you get ice beam later, it's Gotta save you those pause screens, we don't need those. So yeah. no pausing in this category anymore for an optimized run. It's a good game time strat though. Which makes it nice and really seamless. Oh, game time. The category that nobody actually wants to submit to on Deer Tier. Hey, I, I, I know one person that, that still will not give up on game time. Who's that? Might even have a room named after them in this game. Maybe. I think this is one of the best strats that uh, Behemoth came up with, the Red Tower. I missed it too. Pretty sure he came up with it anyway. Okay. Why no glitch the top? I have some serious problems. That's probably one of like, the weirdest things in the new stuff is just the, the glitch to the top of Red Tower and how it works. It doesn't make any sense. There's a lot of things that don't really make sense in, uh, in it. Predictions for the ghost. Um, Patrick Swayze, be kind. <laughs> I'll go slow middle for my prediction. Can you say fast mid. I'm going. I'm going slow mid. One round Doppler. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice little trick that says that there he's he's uh, laying the power bombs at a different time than a lot of people do because he's off screen by the time it goes off. And that reduces lag by quite a bit. I social fly. Nice. Why can't you be more like I am in the human past? <laughs> Even though that was like tool assist technically, that was just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, it wasn't tool assist, but it was. It's just retarded. Saver is a powerful tool. No question about it. Just in good shape in terms of the drops here, that's for sure. Yeah, it's kind of 50-50 almost, whether I have a two power bombs or one power bomb with the strats I use. So two's nice. Two. Better to stock up on some ammo if you're doing this one round down for man. Yeah. Evil missiles. That's that slows. Feeling right mid. I'm psychic. What a tech dude. Grant's on call again. Thanks. Oh, Joe. You heard him calling again. I still love the way that you finished that boss. Yeah, that's yeah, the need up there. This is the only person that does it that way. I really haven't seen anybody else do it that way. Does Behemoth think... do it? Yeah, Behemoth does it, I think. Oh, does he? Uh, okay. I don't know if he does well, exactly who actually that, sees Behemoth, though? It's not like he streams. So you, we have to watch. Uh... Behemoth is the cool, non douchey version of Billy Mitchell. <laughs> That's an interesting. Yeah, Behemoth's pretty old, Spin. Behemoth is a badass. Yeah. He disappeared and then all of a sudden, you know, we were all at SGDQ. Those just sitting there practicing his 100% run. Somebody's like, man, did you guys hear about Behemoth? And we're like, what? Out in the 
uh, the 29. Yeah. I remember a golden came in and told me, like, uh, record's been beaten. He probably has 20 in already and hasn't told me one. <laughs> Just got it on a video recording that's all choppy. It's like, <laughs> hey guys, I've got it. <laughs> uh -oh. He has his own brand of hot sauce, you know. You gotta respect the guy, man. He started out on PAL. He ran on Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I ain't got nothing against him. He's awesome. More so ragging on Billy Mitchell. Yeah, no doubt. Ooh, oh, two cat does mini duffel. Okay. Two cat's an underrated uh, Super Metroid player. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool to get Behemoth back on my trip too, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. Never knew he was on it to begin with. Yeah, yeah, you did a lot of stuff for it. It's interesting. Yep, that was before Super. This room must be pretty relaxing compared to a uh, low percent Hazost. Oh, uh, yeah. Some of your guys' favorites. Uh, I'm particularly fond of the reverse mockball. I'd have French to think about reserve. that for a bit. There's so many of them anymore. Yeah. Maybe the one on the you uh, leave the warehouse. That was really good. I think my favorite mockball that I've ever seen done that was only done in a puzzle was the one that J Justin Daddy. met him once. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the one that he did out of Crockenmire's room. That was an amazing one. Oh watched my later. god, dude. I forgot to farm the face. Like, that made making that puzzle so much more worthwhile. The best speedball ever. You need to come up with a name for that. You guys know the name of this room. Somebody named it. Rough Main Elizer. Street Verdia? No, 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 no. The one, the the two. Verdia two? Oh no, Verdia two is the vertical one, isn't it? The thing that vertical one was toilet. <laughs> I forgot or to do this, Reggie. Yeah, Break the down. tube is toilet. Like the the one that goes up and down. Anyways, let's do the DBX farm strategy. But... Actually, I actually learned that from one of Chronic's puzzles because I completely misinterpreted what that was. I thought that was a very good class too. The room he shines sparked in is called Mount Dude. Uh, suitless stress you have to do when you don't have grapple. I got a sound cucumber. Guys. It has an alternative name hey. when you're doing no boss mini boss. When you have to climb the the mountain with crabs, mm -hmm. the ice beam. They changed the name for that. And Zeus gets the one round bot one. Really? Good job, Zeus. Thanks. That's a good mock wall right there. That X Factor is just. Uh, if you miss it, yeah, it's the most frustrating thing ever. Get ugly quick when you miss that X Factor. Or get yeah. that pick of UA when you need it. Oh god, yes. Full well, happy hype? Uh, but yeah, that, that X Factor, each of the four particles does a super missile damage, so that's four super missiles, and then six more super missiles to finish them off. And if you miss the X Factor, then it. I mean, getting the one round is really difficult, if not impossible. This is just so consistent with the full half, you almost just expect it now. <laughs> full half is always sexy to watch. Automatic. Casual <laughs> full half. 
my favorite is the quarter happy when you hit your head <laughs> on the ceiling. <laughs> 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 I may or may not do that a lot. It's time to flip the coin. We got 50-50 for that uh, two green pattern. Nope. I'm going to say two of blue. I'm going to go with the one round apple again. <laughs> uh oh, we got swoops. That's right. That's bad. This is a master of backup strats. He will still get blue suit. It's hard to go from That's left so to right close. and uh, shine sparkling correctly, though. It's hard, yeah. That last spark was a little low, unfortunately. Yeah. It's easy to get hit by But though, now so. we're going to spark right into space jump. I like it. The final backup. Space jump being another power up you didn't see in low percent ice. Yeah, but it's pretty much the same as in Metroid 2, for the most part. It's been so long since I've watched the, uh... tasks of this game, I forgot they don't even get Space Jump. Space Jump is definitely more useful in Meridia, just because Space Jump underwater is so much more forgiving than Space Jump in the air. Pretty much unbreakable underwater, unless you actually do something wrong on the D-pad. Yeah, you can nearly mash the jump yeah, and yeah, just you keep can going up. I think that's part of why a lot of people don't really understand the way space jump works too, is because when you first get it, you're underwater. And then right, when you have to right. use it the rest of the time, you're not, not. So they're like, wait, why isn't this working now? And then yeah, it's this is why that, mess. that Cactus Alley room is like, as a kid, I always found one of the most annoying rooms in the game because you have to jump from out of water into the air with with space jumping it's just like that's the only way to do it and it just was mind-boggling me it didn't seem possible all right here comes plasma spark it's not make so up for... automatic or... so that's really seeing as we are idea. skipping spring ball this is the inferior category <laughs> and you were said with spring ball <laughs> yes please make it happen i don't know why it would work but do it or throw a new category. Can we please have bigger skip too? Bigger skip What you need to do is find all the spring ball strats that make getting spring ball worth it in any percent. Which would be amazing time savings. You'd have to find bigger skip for that to even be close to. Like, I don't even know how that would work because you don't have grapple and you don't have ice beam, so you couldn't even get it. That's true. I wonder if you can x-ray behind him. Well, that would require x-ray too, but... That was a new... I think somebody messed with x-ray in that room a little bit. Which room? If somebody's gonna find it, it's that guy, uh... Attorney's Dragon, or whatever his name is. <laughs> that, that guy finds, like, the most ridiculous things. It's yeah, like, does. leaving Dragon's room during the fight. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Ivan gave me the job of finding Digger Skip like forever ago, and I still have not started working on it because no. Digger Skip would be amazing. I'd imagine Extra would be involved with that though. Yeah, but knowing this game, as soon as you find it, somebody's gonna find a better, faster way to do it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm, sure you could do it right the, uh, I'm sure you could do it with GT Code. Or sorry, not GT Space Time. Well, if you do it with space time, then all the stuff in the game comes back, and so do the bosses. Yeah, and you also already have the item that the purpose of the view for. Only wish... if you did GT code. I still wish 200% could have been a thing, unfortunately. I'm gonna set up real bad. I love the, uh, the ice beam escape. Base jump and everything just looks so much cooler. Balls.
So you can go down to uh, Little North Carrier through another route as well, going kind of the 100% way, which is actually one second faster. But it's, you lose uh, a bit of game time doing it that way. And it's a little harder, possibly. A lot of boosts named after uh, folks in here. Good hype. A little bit different version, but. Wait, what happened? That's it? I think the mumble went dead for a second because my computer, my laptop mm -hmm. went to sleep mode or something. So this usually lays the, the power bomb up higher. Is this new? Is this something that new? That is, yeah, that's not like super new, but it's a it's a newer thing. Um, Kenny was in Ivan's chat one day and they were talking about that and Kenny was like, what if you laid the power bomb close to the door so you didn't have to wait as long for the power bomb to blow up, which gets rid of some of the lag time. Oh, good point. Okay. So yeah, it pretty much just changed like where you lay the power bomb, the amount of time that gets wasted from the power bomb. But like other than that, the setup's still the same. And they still do your boost, so that's the that's the most important thing, I think. That chronic boost in there. Well, little, this throne is already forfeit. From, uh... He didn't do frog boost, so. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. I did it a little differently from the way Kenny and I did <laughs> the, the, the most though. pointless. Shine spark in the entire t in the entire game. No frog spark equals bad. Well, you can't get every trick right. Okay, we gotta cut this guy some slack. That's just you kill all the enemies in the room to increase the lag and the power bombs. A little bit of cost strips. Tyron's lag the game so much, it's ridiculous. Yeah. They have that really cool sound effect, though. It's funny, though, like, it's one of those things where, as far as game time goes, it doesn't even matter at all. Yeah. But real time, it's like a huge, huge deal. There's so many, like, small real time strats all over the place, it's, it's crazy. Like, one that's very unnoticeable is, uh, with, uh, the door transitions. Uh, the doors always transition when they're centered, like, horizontally or vertically. And sometimes, if you're, like, going up a shaft, you might go a little bit higher than you normally need to, just to get the door centered before you go through the transition. Because, uh, the screen scrolls faster vertically, like, when you have control Samus than the actual, like, normal door. Like, when you don't control Samus, it's, it's very strange. So Ridley in any percent is <laughs> kind of I a like joke. To, I like to call this ring around the Ridley. <laughs> as long as we don't see any Poe going, then it's good to go. Perfectly pretty much. Good pattern so far. He's yeah. one of the bosses gave me good luck. Wow. Great Ridley. Great Ridley. Really Great nice. Ridley. Really nice. No missed shots? Nope. All swoops. Not the last No, yeah, no, he didn't. Drops are okay. Uh, it would be nice to have a little bit more super missiles, yes, but... Got enough power bombs to do everything you want to do. Right. His health is really good, so they'll give him a better leeway and more North Air Escape. Alright, come on, Zost. Ball boost. <laughs> Alright. The, the speed ball. It's a great trick. <laughs> the time when that wasn't like a standard thing that everybody went for. I still remember those days. Yeah, like it's amazing how much the game has evolved in even just the past two years. Like, remember when Metroid Skip wasn't a thing? Yeah, I tell you. Yeah, that's Tassel. Why would you then run? 
and also, used to pick up spacer. Uh, stutter sprinting was like not a thing until the Japanese runners were like, yo, you can just do this, by the way. Well, the Japanese runners were the first ones that used to skip spacer, and I remember like a lot of the American players were like, why are they doing that? That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> Like an audio they, they, of course, they, they came around eventually. Again, the That's Japanese community video. also used to watch the intro when they did their runs. So that was pretty funny. They have far more patience. <laughs> yeah, I think like the Japanese timing for that the would runs be used awful. to be like from time to time. Yeah, I probably, to... I probably would have never run this game. Imagine like doing like non-streamed runs and having to watch the intro. Hey man, it makes Saris resets happen a lot less. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, it would. That is damn right. <laughs> oh man, I screwed up by like half a second to a second in Saris Station. Do I really want to watch the intro again? Uh... <laughs> I'll take this 44, what the heck. Sure, let's <laughs> do it. It's already bad enough having to watch it in low percent glitched. One of the intro is more like the outro in that case. Have you seen the low percent glitched categories yet? Chronic? I don't know, it depends. Like, are you talking like the... The like five percent one. Is that like with the X-ray? Yeah. Just, I think I saw a little bit of it, but not too much. Like I haven't been around much lately. It's, it's pretty initially. trippy. It's very colorful, literally. Yeah, nice elevator. I saw it, but it's <laughs> so just waving at the elevator to take him up. Yeah, he's doing a little dance there. See, that's the problem with elevators going up. Like, normally when you're going down, you can hold angle and snap it, but it doesn't work as well going up. It's a pretty sick boost ball, by the way. For a rock ball. Oh, you know that's a really sick one, uh, is it the Blockbuster? Yes. It's hard, man. It's an amazing speedball. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, was that tomorrow? Uh, what, Cot doing 100? 100%. 100 percent. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, can't wait for that either. I'll be uncommentating for that again, too. Super missiles, why don't we? I think it's can they they can drop zero, one, two, or three, right? Possibilities for each Metroid. Oh, I actually don't know like the probabilities. I'm just saying, but I think I think so. I don't think I've ever seen more than three. So where is yes. where is Bakun Bot when you need it? Oh, I don't know about RNG. Uh, world record luck is needed. Um, RNG is not being nice right now. This is horrible. Okay. Well, it's acceptable now. It's finished, rather. Maybe not acceptable, but... Nope. 
This game. It ends with full This ammo. game. <laughs> <laughs> the game's like, I was just kidding, guys. I just wanted to give you a little sweat. <laughs> Super Metroid. Metroid is a cool guy. Well, I, you know, Zeus world record any percent run. He has uh, four supers going into that run. Just about everybody was like, oh my god, not this, please. You never know what's gonna happen. Because I remember watching that same sort of thing with one of the COTS runs recently, and it just didn't deliver at all. That and was I think pretty fast. fast. So the Metroid skip we were talking about when low percent was around. Yeah, like you can do it still, but it wastes a lot of time. This used to be considered a task. Uh, task only trick, but not anymore. For a while now. Owl only for a while. Behemoth did that on a pal like way back in the day. I remember one day, uh, Turtle to skip eventually is this real time possible and it's like well rest in peace. <laughs> that would be amazing. It's kinda interesting. I actually told myself if this game ever got as broken as like a Zelda game, I would not play it anymore and since the new stuff got found I have not played it once. <laughs> <laughs> not intentional, just it happened that way. But we still have our uh, MST all bosses run. Just a quick reminder that when you're done with the run, just say time so you actually can hit the timer. I'm not sure if Sosis' headphones are right now. It's a scary catch up. Yeah. <laughs> Not paying attention for the most tutorial in there. Can y'all hear me? There we go. That was that was uh, very clutch. Can you hear me? Yep. I'm oh, sorry for talking over you now. That's okay. It's my fault. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention much during uh, tutorial because uh, tutorial is scary. That was a rough pattern, man. Dropped the bomb and then did onion rings. I had to jump over it. Right. Yeah, where am I gonna land? Really, really well. Brown maneuver in there. Well done. Thanks. I was gonna say tater tots, French fry, ketchup again, but they run <laughs> jinxed you. Yeah. <laughs> no, we can. Low percent ice is bad enough. <laughs> It's pretty ridiculous of how many different ways you can play this game now. These games are always had a lot of categories, and it's just like they're just keep getting to be more and more categories. The game that never stops giving back, even after 20 years. Oh. 20 years. Makes me feel old. And when the glitches started getting discovered, they started breaking the game. We had this discussion, just trying to. We don't need to make all these categories now. The brain does again. In, in less than an hour. I'm just happy I made it through both runs without dying. Anything happened to us recently? Yeah. This is one game where <laughs> that's really what you have to be thinking some of the time. Like, I just don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> Especially during a marathon run, it's like yeah, when you exactly. do, 
Yeah. Here, let me just uh, use the rest of the time to show you some tricks and stuff. I guess. <laughs> right, right. Or, or you could just go get Spring Ball and have some fun with it. Yeah. Only while morphed. It's possible. The path is with Spring Ball. You could even do it with bomb jumps, but yeah. <laughs> Forty-five here. Yeah, it's gonna be like forty-five. Time. Uh, Twenty-five. Ah, uh, give me a second because it's <laughs> gonna twitch delay. That's time. No, you're actually setting the timer. Okay. I believe that's forty-five twenty-seven. Yeah. Looks like it. Yes, it is. Sweet. Yeah. Really nice. Very nice time. Thank you very much, Sos, for running this game. No problem. Mm -hmm. Alright, and thank you everyone for commentating on this game. It was awesome to listen to you guys. Get a lot of fun. Always a good time. Looking yeah, forward to 100% tomorrow. Yeah, Cop Cop Power will be finishing the marathon with 100%, so. Yeah. He's, I think he's okay with most commentators anyway, so maybe if you're interested, you can just poke me and I'll let him know or something. But yeah, um... Stray, if you're gonna be around, you should say something to him. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, we should wait around, because Deer Force is gonna come up soon, in a bit. Right? Yeah, you can't cheat the people out of their Deer Force. You can't cheat out of Deer Horse, just can't. It doesn't yeah, matter how many runs the, there are, yeah, they have to get it. You have to do it again, yeah, there's... I remember Kat had a bad 100% run or whatever, and he wanted to do another one, and he just reset and cut the deer for us. People were so sad. I've done that before. I've, I've, I've had runs where I just felt like, like it was the, the run wasn't worth the deer for us. They went around to see how their children have grown. <laughs> it's actually interesting. I wonder if any of them have actually, you know, seen any of this stuff. I'm curious about that too. I think about that every once in a while. Yeah, I mean, you gotta figure some of them are. Yeah, just... I mean, there's quite a few. Of them. Yeah. Right, right. I'm just saying, like, if any of them actually like watched the runs and stuff. Surely one of them has watched the experience. Yes, this game experience again. Decent amount of exposure now. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, I think with all the new stuff, some of us might know more about Super Metroid than the devs. <laughs> <laughs> Looking yeah, at we... you, total. 2015 Super Metroid dev call. If only, man. AGDQ. <laughs> Rest in peace, Gumpai Yokoi. Listen to that. No doubt. I plan to be at AGDQ in the, I guess, spring, winter, whatever. Winter? Yeah, it'd yeah. be nice to meet you, Chronic, at the AGDQ. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go. Yeah. I, I don't foresee having any issues getting there, so. It's a great time. Dear Force! Dear Force! Dear, Dear Force! Force. Thanks again for commenting, guys. I appreciate it. Dude, it was an honor. Yeah, sure that's exactly. Yep. And thanks to everyone uh, for joining us on the call. Where's OC's run? And thanks a lot to OC for doing two, two Super Metro runs. They were fantastic. Thanks, dude. No problem. And thanks, Curry, for organizing this whole marathon and all that. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's been fun. Alright, so upcoming next, we have, we're have we switching to Metroid Fusion which is hype, and we have Jagger G doing 1% for Metroid Fusion, and right after him, I'm, I myself am going to be doing a 100% run. So, um, you'll be seeing a lot of Save the Animals, haha, -ha, just kidding. Um, and after that, we'll be having some Metroid Prime Pinball, 
And then we're pretty much going into another prime block. So we're going to have Pinball, Prime 1, Hunters, Echoes, and Corruption. And then closing out the marathon with Cod Power doing Super Metroid 100%. So if you can, you should just try to stay here for the rest of the marathon.